Hi there, it's Ruth at Artful Stampin'. Today I'm going to be making a quick birthday card and decorate a paper bag. And here I've got, this is a stamp stack, sorry not a stamp stack, a paper stack uh, called Have a Cup and it's a new set of designer series paper that's available in the spring catalogue. It's jam packed full of really lovely bright um, coloured uh, designs. It's kind of got a tea party theme, so there's teacups and um, cupcakes, hearts, teapots, um, just some generic just designs that are great for using as just um, matting and layering. Uh, look, there's little lemon slices, isn't that cute? And um, other cups and oh, look, little tea bags. That's sweet as well, for people who like cups of tea or coffee. Um, yeah, there we go. Quite cute, aren't they? Okay, so um, I just wanted to sort of give you a tip. When trying to choose colours for creating your cards, and if you come across a stack that you like the look at, or look like the look of, it's worth just noting what colours are being used in the actual papers. So if you like the paper stack, you're obviously then going to like the papers that, sorry, like the colours that they've used. So here I've picked out Bermuda Bay, Melon Bambo and Wisteria Wonder and we're going to be using those to make the card. So I've already just selected my piece of paper that I want to use. I'm just going to cut it to size. I've already got a piece of card stock here measuring six by, uh, a card measuring six by four inches. So I've just cut that. Uh, a quarter of an inch smaller than my card base and I'm, just, I'm going to be popping that onto there. Now I'm just going to put my paper bag aside for a second. We're going to be using a stamp set that's in the spring catalogue, Grateful Bunch and it has da, 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 a matching punch here and these match beautifully with these stamps here and um, did have them already loaded up. Yep, here they are here. And I've actually gone ahead and cut out a few of the flowers. Just I was having a bit of a play earlier to see what they look like, and they are beautiful. So I haven't really got a major plan for this. I'm just going to start stamping and see what happens. Um, I quite like this leaf design. A friend of mine has some small children and. Um, She's ordered this stamp set because her daughter thought that it would be good practice for doing dot to dot, as you as you'll probably see when I stamp this out. So here I've got Bermuda Bay. I think I'll just do a bit of a nice leaf design on here. And it's not showing up too strongly, so I think I might just get Island Indigo out. Because the Bermuda Bay onto the Wisteria Wonder isn't that dark. So I'm going to try it with a darker colour. I'm going to, I mean, I'm happy with that there, but I wanted a, a bolder image on the purple. That's better. Okay, I just want to have a little bit, another one down here. And I think I might just do another one there like that. Okay. So obviously when stamping onto coloured paper you need to you know think about that and maybe go for a darker colour like I have like I've just done. Okay. Um I think in those, in that case then we might find that Wisteria Wonder is a little bit too too light. So I'm gonna try using oh I did have it out a second ago. Here's Elegant Eggplant. We'll try that for some of the other elements. There's a really, really beautiful butterfly stamp in this set. So I might just have this one flying off in the distance there. There we go. And also this beautiful lace design lovely for creating borders. So pretty. The 
detail on it is just stunning. I'll bring that up a bit closer. Okay, you can see that. And then there's the butterfly. Really, really gorgeous. Okay, and I think I might just do a bit of a cluster of flowers going on here. Um, I did want to bring a little bit more pink into this, to be honest, so, um, hmm, let's see what we can do, see if this melon mambo is going to stand up behind, I've got this lovely big, big flower design here, let's see what happens, oh yeah, it shows up enough, I think. Third one there. There we go. Right, and then I think I'll disassemble all those. Where are my glue pads? I mean, my dimensionals. There we go. Right. Get some of these flowers on. I think I'll stick them on and then come back to you. Okay, so I've stuck some of the flowers on there. And I've just got this sentiment here that I think I will use the pink if I can find it again. There it is. And I've cut myself a strip of paper here, which is oh, what's that? Just under an inch wide. So I'm just going to stamp onto there. You are totally awesome. And for us in the UK, that's quite an American sounding saying, but if we say it in our British accent, it sounds British as well. It's fine. So, I think we, um, because we get to watch so much American TV, we kind of have adapted some of our ways of talking. And I'm sure... The same can be said the other way around as well. I'm just going to curl this a little bit, just to give it a bit of shape. I don't like flat banners. I like slightly curly ones. Get some dimensionals in there. Um, hmm, I was thinking of sponging it a little bit, but no, I think I'll leave it unsponged. Just tuck that into there. There we go, just a quick, easy card. Get some fast views. the we'll decorating paper bag so that's a card there and then here I've got the paper bag so I was just going to do some cute little stamping across the bag and then beautiful lace across the bottom such an easy way to personalise gift packaging by just getting a few stamps out and having a bit of a play Lovely, it's no, no strict rules to placements and things. It's quite a nice way to just experiment with seeing what stamps look like grouped together. I'm having a problem with the there's a crease line there because of the, um, the way the bag is made, so I should 
could perhaps put that down before I stamp. So there we go, let that be a warning to you. Okay, so I think that's going to be it. And I've decorated to put a gift in that I made. Well, I haven't made the glass jar, I'll show it to you. So we have um, a shop in the UK called Poundland. And so I bought this jar from Poundland and I f filled it with some cookies and um, just decorated. This is actually some retired crochet trim. Um, and then a, this is a retired stamp set as well, but this is using the gold vellum that was available at Christmas. And some um, cardstock there with a little tinkly bow on the gold braid. And so that's just going to pop into my... Now the reason I'm <laughs> I'm actually filming this in December, so um, this was a birthday gift for somebody's birthday in December. So I was just taking the opportunity to use some of the new product to decorate. So there we go. There's a little, that's a little gift bag and card, which I'm going to write in in a minute uh, because my friend is arriving tomorrow and I'm going to be giving it to her for her birthday. Okay, well, thank you for joining me and hope you uh, found some inspiration there. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and um, I'll be back again soon with another video. Okay, bye.